Hello all of you lovely beings of the universe. Today we are doing another episode of Polly Diary because I figure like I want to do more of these vlogs, I want to do more of this stuff. Okay, so one thing recently, and this is just Mama Ben's, this is like Mama Ben relationship advice to you, alright? <laughs> I'm a little salty, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm salty. Okay, alright. First off, never date someone who thinks that revolution is peaceful because they don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to watch my mouth. <laughs> anyway, ignore that. Ignore that. Now, the real relationship advice here, like the real solid one is that if, okay, so let's say you're in a long, like this is for long distance relationships, especially if you're like poly or something like that. Even if you're not, um, if you suspect something is going on or you think something's going wrong, you are welcome to ask about it. You never feel like you aren't welcome. Never feel like you aren't able to ask about why things are or why things are the way they are. Um, and especially if someone is going long periods of time without talking to you, you need to start like narrowing your eyes at that and thinking, what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, because I there's just recently the past few months actually I've been in a relationship where this has happened and my ex who I won't name has come up with she would go to like these fake hospital visits and um she was like my parents have my phone I'm gonna be gone for like a week or a few and sometimes you wouldn't believe this but i uh actually you would you would because everyone's everyone's had that relationship right so um sometimes what would happen is that you would get this oh i can't find the video card there there we go okay sometimes what you get was you would get this whole thing where she would post a picture of her doing something or she'd be at her job still which i should have questioned like how do you still have a job if you're going to the hospital like every single freaking week how do you keep a job? <laughs> There's only so many hospital weeks you could be in your your manager or your boss be lenient, you know? Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's one thing you should suspect. And I would see pictures of her doing, at her job doing stuff, and I'd be like, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said you'd text me back after you got out of the hospital. And then she'd text back after, like, a few weeks later and be like, oh, no, I was still in the hospital. I'd be like, Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Um, minimize this real quick while I talk here for a little bit. And so, if you ever have something like that, go to your friends. Go to your most trusted friends. Ask if, like, tell them everything. Tell them everything. And tell them what's going on and ask them what they think. Because I was told by a trusted friend, Oliver, who said, she's avoiding y'all. She's avoiding y'all. And I'm like, you know, watch, watch, what's a watch? Watch me make this video. Watch me make it. Watch me make it, mate. Watch me make it, comrade. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. No. Um, so, yeah, no. Uh, she, she was avoiding us. And she was not blatantly saying it. She was not blatantly saying she didn't want to be a part of the relationship anymore. She was leaving us with this toxic this toxic environment of she fake hospital visits and worry literally we worried about her mental and physical health because she was in the hospital and we were just like what the hell do we do and so eventually after enough post hiding and um i had a screen i had a friend go and look at her profile on facebook and see hey what's up what is she posting anything recently and apparently she was her settings were on certain friends only so she was not only doing that, but she was hiding posts and changing privacy settings to avoid us. Yeah, when you play the avoidance game, that's some mental and emotional abuse right there. Especially when you fake some hospital visits, like a, like a fake, fake, fake ass motherfucker, alright? So, um, you know, if you watch this video, that, that thanks for, you know, giving me a hell of a semester at college. I know I really, I really shouldn't get into a relationship while I'm in college, but... You know, I, I think I've learned my lesson here because because of your ass. So <laughs> I'm not gonna name your name, but you know who you are out there. Now, so yeah, always go to your friends, people. Always go to them because that shit can happen. That shit can happen. You need to collect all the evidence. Be like, okay, 
I know this, and you need to be checking that profile. You need to be stalking that profile, all right? You need to be looking at the various social media profiles be like, okay, you like this tweet. When? Oh, but you were in the hospital? What? That's weird because you said your phone wasn't with you. <laughs> you need to investigate these things sometimes, especially when you're in a poly relationship and someone who is not self-proclaimed polyamorous is is trying out poly. You need to definitely look into that shit. Absolutely. Always look into that shit. And another thing, another thing. All right. So let's say that happened and let's say you get into another long distance relationship. You're like, all right, well, this might be different, right? This might be someone else might be different. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to call it names uh, either way. I'm not going to call it names. Now, I don't know if my ex was really having phone issues. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. So I'm taking this with a grain of salt. Uh, she's not going to like me for making this video. <laughs> but unfriending me, really, I thought we could be friends, by the way. Just letting you know. Anyway, anyway, that aside, long-distance partner is having phone issues, right? Battery issues, but she's getting on more suddenly. But she doesn't tell you why, but her phone has issues apparently and she can't get on as much even though she's getting on a lot more. She's got plenty of time to do coding on some sort of phone that supposedly doesn't work as good. <sighs> you know, I, I think when people are having issues where they can't talk to you, communication is key by the way in a long distance relationship, especially a poly one. <clears throat> poly relationships always communication is key so that's one thing that you'll run into in the poly world and just in the online dating world in general is that if someone is starting to um i'm sorry that my throat's kind of like f screwed up right now so I'm, I'm not able to talk i'm not able to convey as much tone as good but i i, I do want to make this video and give a warning to everyone who might <laughs> who might go through this bullshit um pretty much if an online partner, a long distance partner, is having any sort of phone issues, I think, I th or any sort of way that they can't contact you through their phone, you need to look into that shit. Watch their profile like a hawk. Watch what they do. Watch their social media profiles. It's not stalking. It's literally gathering information and being like, is this person wanting to break up? <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. Oh, is this person wanting to break up? Or are they wanting to stay together, but they're actually having issues with their phone? Or they actually are having things going on in life? Because those are two different things. You could either be faking it, or it could be legit. And you, sh and you should find out that. Don't be stuck being anxious and timid. Be like, am I in a relationship? Am I not? What can I say? Can I text this person this thing? Can I text this person that thing? Don't be stuck in that loop of mental and emotional turmoil that I was put through being the universe. Do not be stuck in that. Question that. Be like, um, excuse me, are you about to break up with my ass in a few weeks? Are you about to break up with my ass in a few months? You ask them that. You ask them, demand to know if they're trying to break things off with you or if they actually, like, legit mean it. Because... I mean, some people might lie to you, but that just makes them really bad, and they're going to feel bad about their lies, and it's going to end the relationship faster. So, no, pressure them. It's okay to pressure them. It's okay to test it. Sometimes in relationships, you have to test the waters. That's a, It's a healthy thing to do that. It really is. Just, just trust me on this being the universe. I don't want you going through the toxicity that I went through, and I want you to learn from my mistakes, from Mama Ben's mistakes, and online date safer. Make sure that you question everything. Absolutely question everything. And I've been recording for about like nine minutes now, so I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed this. I just wanted to be more productive and do two vlogs. And I didn't feel like my throat, my throat felt really bad, man. Like, my throat feels bad, man. <laughs> Being you versus my throat, it, it hurts. Um, I don't know why. I, mean, I might be sick. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm stressed out because school's starting again. I, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to end it here. If you like this video, a like, comment, subscribe, if you're here, or do a few assessments there down below. And don't forget to check the link in the description for the Discord server. And I will see all of you loving means universe in whatever I upload next. Mwah! Oh, I think I, I think I bought my thing a little bit. Hey, what are you? We're good. We're good.